for today's lesson, this afternoon, what you're going to do is you're going to hang some of this paper, which is a blown vinyl. And a blown vinyl is basically PVC poured onto a paper in a pattern and it's left to set. Blown vinyl is really hard wearing. It's got a flat back, okay, and it is just poured onto the top to give an embossment. What you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these panels. Now what I've done is I've put enough panels for everybody. I've teed the top of them all. If you've got a panel that is horizontal, obviously it doesn't matter. You can put the T at that side or that side. But if you're doing a vertical panel, such as this, make sure your T goes up the top. Okay? So we've got two different styles, it doesn't matter which one you pick. We've got one here and we've got one with some lines in. You're just going to hang one piece to your panel. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So set your paste tables out, just have one between two. You don't need to all make loads of batches of paste. <clears throat> We're just going to put this one on. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to check my soaking times. Five to seven minutes. Okay. So I'm going to apply my paste liberally. And when you paste, remember, start in the centre. Go out to the top. So you're brushing out, you're not brushing in, you're brushing out to the top and then you brush out to the bottom. Okay, so. Again, centre, brushing out to the top. Plenty of paste as well and then brush out to the bottom. We'll mix a nice big thick batch of paste for this. So the fold you're going to do here is just a, a half and a half fold and it's a lap fold. So you're just going to go to the centre and you're going to make sure you align the edges. If you don't align the edges, your paper will dry out before it's soaked. So again, to the centre, align the edges and then this bit here, fold it. Check your watch, seven minutes, okay. But if, because I'm, obviously I'm not gonna wait and just wait seven minutes, I'm gonna hang it as it is because I'm gonna take it straight off. Okay, so I need a piece of paper soaked for seven minutes, a smoothing brush, shears, and a pencil, and a bucket and your sponge with your water. So all you're going to do with this is, you're going to hang it to this panel and you're going to hang one of the edges to any side of the frame. Obviously if you're going horizontally you can hang it to the bottom or the top. If you're going vertically, hang it to either side. It doesn't matter. I'll explain that. So unfold both sides. Take it to your panel. You're better off getting it like that. Taking it up and just making sure the top of that paper just touches the top of that frame. It doesn't want to overlap and it doesn't want to be down, okay? It wants to be touching. Right. As soon as I've got that on there, get your smoothing brush in the centre, out to the sides. So you're brushing all the air out. into the corner, slip to the corner. Yeah, that'll just take that pressure off. So that's the next bit. Now your next bit is get a pencil and write in that crease. Now it has to be tucked in. Use your nails, use 
the end of the pencil or whatever, make sure it's tucked in. And then you're going to draw the pencil line down the crease on all sides. Like this. Across the bottom. If it's not tucked in, when you use your pencil, you'll just put your pencil through it. It has to be tucked in first. Okay. So you see now, I've done all three sides, because I don't need to do that side, because I've pushed it right up to the frame. Don't be afraid of pulling your paper away. And then using the pencil line as a guide, point your shears towards the pencil line and cut. This bit, obviously, we know that that's a slip hazard that needs to be folded and either chucked under your table in a corner or in a bin. And while I've got my shears, I'm not going to smooth it back just yet or even remove the paste. I'm going to carry on cutting these three edges off. Obviously, it's not took me long because I haven't left it to soak. I don't want you rushing this, I want it to be. Perfect. Okay, I want the cutting to be perfect and I want no bubbles in it and I want it to sit on the board perfectly. Okay, so it needs to be well pasted and well applied and well cut. Next week, what you're going to do is you're going to put eggshell on top of these. So you're going to paint them two coats of an eggshell. If you've got a wooden frame like this one, you're going to mask it up before you paint it. If you've got a white frame, you're going to, after you've applied the eggshell, you're going to give this white another coat of gloss. So that's like that. Can't do anything now until I've got the paste off the frame. All the paste off gone on to this side and the other side none should have gone on the top because I've just gone up to the top edge but now I get the smoothing brush and again straight in the centre out to the sides that's one finished panel so each of you are going to do your own panel so the panel that you've glazed and wiped, you're going to apply blown vinyl onto that. So remember, blown vinyl is PVC, PVA, PVC, applied on top of paper to create an embossment. Okay? This paper can be painted, so you can put this on maybe walls that maybe got a little bit of maybe cracks or indentations, so it covers up things like that. Um, it's not good for high traffic areas such as staircases because it actually scratches off. It's great for ceilings and it's great for walls that aren't going to be caught all the time. Okay, so that's your blown vinyl.